Welcome back to my channel. It is Jose Nicole and we're back with another video. Yo, we're back with another video. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm Jose Nicole and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you are not yet subscribed, then sweetie, you need to hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button and turn your post notification bell so that you're notified when I do upload and I post. Um, because, dun, 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 if you've seen already in the title, <laughs> Hey, one of Vlogmas. Hey, we are doing a great, great video. We are trying Starbucks holiday drinks and reading y'all's assumptions about me. We are reading what your assumptions are about me while trying these holiday drinks. So we're gonna get right into this video. We do have a um, what? What is this? Peppermint mocha. Peppermint mocha, no. Oh yeah, peppermint mocha drink. It does not say it on here, so I'm like confused, like what? Okay, so, oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> so this is a white mocha wrap with coconut milk and an extra shot of espresso and whipped cream. The next thing we have is a peppermint mocha with coconut milk. And then this is a iced caramel brulee. And this I have whip on there as well. Or the cream sauce, is it cream or whip? Mm. <coughs> that one's hitting. That one's hitting. This one's hitting hard. This was a hard. Ooh, sweetie. Now let's try the, uh, the peppermint mocha. Nah, that one ain't it. <laughs> and this one, which is the, the white, the oh, this is a white mocha frap. This one's all right. Yeah, this is good. One thing I'll tell y'all, if you ever go to Starbucks, you get any type of fraps, add an extra shot of espresso. You're gonna thank me. But let's get into this video because we're gonna go over our assumptions. Those things are really good. Okay, so first things first. The first assumption that someone said was you're hard on yourself. Which is true, I really believe that is true. Like I'm not, I'm gonna admit and say yes, I am definitely hard on myself. I am a person that if I slack, I will just continue to slack. That's why I'm very, very hard on myself. That is why I push myself. That is why. The next assumption <laughs> was you have a lot of friends. And that is false. That is very false. I don't have a lot of friends. I know I'm gonna lean back you guys and get a little comfortable here. I hear people say that I do have a lot of friends, but no. I don't have a lot of friends. I used to have a lot of friends when I was like growing up, you know, I did have a lot of friends, but once I graduated from high school, like, friends just started dropping like flies. And plus you grow, you grow up and you grow as a person. And I feel that not everyone is gonna be in your life your entire life. I do feel that you just grow from people and you're just not in that place anymore. Everyone has seasons, so I definitely feel like that's kind of what's happened with me and why I don't have friends. So yeah, I, I don't have friends, guys. Like, everyone thinks I do. I just know a lot of people. <laughs> I know who said this. I know who's, well, I know who said all this stuff, but the some of the stuff that people have said, like, I didn't put in here because some of it was just a little too much, but, um, but this person was like, you're 100% that B.I. You guys know, <laughs> I won't blink it out, blink. And you know it. You're absolutely right. <laughs> you're absolutely right, but not in the cocky way. Um, it's more so in a confident way. Like, I know who I am. I know I'm that person. And I feel like people get so mad when you're confident in yourself. 
but people take it as cocky when you know when someone's being cocky. Like you just know when that cockiness is coming out. Definitely I'm very, very confident, guys. I'm confident in myself. I know who I am and I know I'm 100% that person because there's only one of me. And I feel that some people get mad that you are confident and you're like, yes, I know I'm the it. Why is it like, th that's self love, y'all. Like that's self love, that's hyping yourself up. Especially because people nowadays don't wanna hype you up. You gotta hype yourself up. Another assumption was you are a strong woman of God. And that is facts on facts on facts. I do love the Lord, you guys. Um, if you didn't know, well, now you know. Um, I am saved. I do love God. And I do feel like I am a strong woman of God. I feel that God has really, whew, he has shown, shown a lot to me. He has been in my life. He has really, like, start. he's, like, been molding me throughout these years, molding me to be who I am. And growing up and maturing, like I'm just seeing a different person and I'm loving it. We all go through seasons, we all go through times where we are growing. And I love God and I'm not afraid to show it. Like Jesus is real. He is the head of my life. And <laughs> and I'm gonna continue to to walk this walk with him. So the assumptions were you are spoiled and your parents buy everything, like they pay for everything. I wish, <laughs> sweetie, I wish. Um, but no, that is definitely not true. I definitely don't think I'm spoiled at all. Um, no, like I don't get what I want if I say it. Like I don't just, I just don't get what I want. My parents don't buy me everything. Now my parents do help me when I need help. That's a difference. There, there's a difference, guys. They're the type of parents that, um, they don't like to baby anyone. So I didn't grow up getting babied. Um, I grew up on how to be independent. I grew up on how to be the best person that I can be and go out and get it. Whatever I wanted, like go out and get it the right way. So I grew up with a entrepreneur uh, mindset. So I've always been getting my money. Like since I was young, I was getting money. And that's the crazy part. Like I really had a lot of money at a young age. Like that's crazy. But I was hustling. Like I would do so many different hustles to get the money. Oh, I am not spoiled and no, my parents don't pay for everything. And I don't want them to pay for everything. Another assumption someone said was, you're a hard worker. And someone else said you're a workaholic. So those two, I just combine them together. But I agree. I am definitely a hard worker and I am a workaholic. Now, let me just say this. I feel like I've just gotten to that point of being like a workaholic because like I was never really a like a workaholic. I mean, I worked and stuff, but I loved having like my time off, my time to myself. This year, I feel like, yeah, this year I definitely am a workaholic. I just like working and when I'm not working, I feel like I'm not doing anything. So, but I am definitely a, work, a hard worker. I really just work my butt off and whatever thing, whatever I have my mindset to do, I'm gonna do it. Mm. It's the consistency of the frap. Another assumption someone had was, your hair wasn't real at first. That's what they said, your hair isn't real at first. They thought that my hair wasn't real at first. Um, until they obviously seen that my hair was real. <laughs> that all the time, I've gotten out all the time throughout middle school, throughout high school, people trying to fill in my hair to see if I have a weave, people trying to see like, what am I doing to my hair and this and that. Like, it was just like, people just didn't like, I don't know what it is about women and me, but like, not to ch sound like this, but like, it was always a thing of like, oh no, you're lying, or like, no. Like it was always some type of competition type of thing. But no, I've gotten that several times. There's no need for me to lie about my hair. When it's fake, it's fake. Another assumption that someone said was, you're secure and it fuels your confidence. Ha. Very, very true. I am very secure with myself. Like I've said earlier when we were talking about just like that confidence and stuff. Like I am very secure with myself and 
you can see that. I feel like you can see it with people that are very confident and you have to be like, I'm just learning that confidence is key when you're working. Um, another assumption was you don't sell up, settle or like to compromise on much. Very, very true. I don't like to settle guys. I don't, and I don't like to compromise. <laughs> I need to get better at that, honestly. Like, I really need to get better at that because that's not good when it comes to certain situations. But um, very, very true. I, I don't like to settle and I don't like to compromise that much. So, very true. And I am trying to really work on that, though. Um, learning how to compromise with certain situations um, in work and just different things, areas in my life. I just know like there's times where you're gonna have to compromise. So I'm working on that. <laughs> the last one that I'm gonna do today, I have more on here, but my camera's about to die. The last assumption was you're bougie and you have expensive taste. Yes, honey, I am a little bougie bougie. I am, not gonna lie, I'm a little bougie. But I do have expensive taste, but I, I don't have the expensive lifestyle just yet because like or the luxury lifestyle just yet because I'm not where I need to be right now. Like I, there is a lot of um, growth that needs to happen financially for me um, to be able to have a luxe lifestyle. I am going to have a luxe lifestyle because I deserve it and that's just what I want. I love expensive things. I love luxury. I love just the whole luxurious lifestyle, but I'm also a frugal person and I just want to be able to just spend it when I want to spend it, save it when I want to save it. And I think that's the best thing to do, guys. Um, I think it's it's fine to have expensive taste. Nothing is wrong with that. So that is uh, all of the assumptions, guys. I hope that you guys loved all these um, assumptions of people had about me. Also, drinking our favorite well, maybe my new favorite drink, holiday drink, having our holiday drinks and just chatting it up and reading you guys' assumptions about me. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And y'all, we are doing this vlogmas, so be ready, y'all. We are coming with the videos and I will be uploading tomorrow. So without further ado, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. Everything will be in the description below. And I love you guys so much. And let's get this vlogmas popping. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace out, y'all. Ciao.